What's up? This is the Mad Tweaker from Black Hole Entertainment. We interviewing Armani, aka Ace BZ. Yeah, so What's up, man? What's happening, man? Yeah. Uh, so uh, tell us, man, out the gate, you know who who influenced you in the game? Well, Pot. Most of all, Pot. Uh, Tribe Car Quest. Um, man, so many. Notorious B.I.G., Eminem, Jay Z. Uh, my uncle is a rapper, so he influenced me a lot too. So huh. those among other people. <clears throat> so uh, tell me this: Do you draw musical inspiration from anyone in uh, other music genres? Absolutely. Uh, Stevie Wonder is a, a genius. Um, Dewey Ellington is also another genius. Um, Anita Baker, I love her voice. Love to hear her sing. She's a good inspiration to me as well. You know, those among other people, I say it's a lot, but you know, I can go on all day about that, but yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Hmm. My man, uh, so how do you uh, define hip-hop as it pertains to you? Hip-hop is more than, it's more than a, it's more than a genre, it's more than a music genre, it's like, it's a way of life. It's like, you know, you live hip-hop, you breathe hip-hop, it's like, this is my job, it's more than my job, it's the way I live, it's the way I do things. You changed the world for the better, leaving people in shock. And I was sorry that you lost your children, Biggie and Pop. But everything is for a reason. Some seasons will leave us cheesing. Stop at the top, tick top, flip flop all around, but still they ain't seeing that this is real. How would you describe your musical style? I would have to say that it's like it's like running water. It's like water, because no matter what. What you at? If you got a container, if you got a glass, if you got a you got a big area, you put some water in there, it's gonna fit. So that's how my style is. It's gonna fit to whatever beat I got, to whatever music I got. It's gonna it's gonna fit and it's gonna do good. Yes, I'm the beast and that will make you be the beauty that sleeps. And all the women only love for they booty that speaks. I can't control, got a hold on my soul, so now they fiending for mo. So uh, how did you become interested in becoming a hip hop artist? <laughs> ah man. First of all, I've been in, I was raised in the studio. I've been in the studio all my life. My dad is a music producer. So, you know, just being around it every day, like when I would, when I was in the, when I was with my dad in the summer, we'd be in the studio every day. So it's like this is all I seen around me and I just couldn't escape it. So I was just like, you know what? Let's let's roll with it. Huh. There it is. Now in your opinion, how has hip hop evolved since the deaths of Biggie and Tupac? Um, I would say it's, hip hop is more, it's got to be way more musical now than it ever was. Um, I would say that back then it was only a select few of artists that was really talented as far as lyricism goes. Now I feel like it's a whole lot more artists out there that are lyrically talented by studying those guys. So it's evolved, but it, it hasn't really... It's evolved, but it, it's, it's not, I wouldn't say that it's better. I would just say that it's come a long way, but I still wouldn't say that it's better from those days when Pac and Big was still alive. Okay, interesting. Who are the artists you give props to in the game right now? J. Cole, Wale, um, Big Sean, Eminem, Jay-Z, just to name a few. What can your fans expect? When they listen to an Armani slash Ace BZ album. When you hear an Armani album, you gonna hear you gonna hear something you ain't never heard before. You gonna hear real good music. You're not gonna hear no played out tired beats. You're gonna hear some real good music and you gonna hear some good lyrics and some good storytelling. You're gonna hear some real stuff, you're gonna hear some fictional stuff, but it's all it all relates to you. You're gonna be able to feel it, I guarantee you. You're my addiction, so baby, I'm a hip hop fiend. And every night while I'm asleep, I'm having hip hop dreams. Shout to my Tell your fans what projects you got simmering right now. Prince of Hip Hop The Genesis, which is my album, is dropping December 17, 2011. I'll say that again. December 17, 2011. Huh. Now, how do you prepare yourself to create the magic that we hear in your wordplay and your subject matter? <laughs> I watch a lot of Family Guy. <laughs> Family Guy is the definitely helped my lyrical style. 
as far as punchlines and stuff like that goes. So I watch a lot of Family Guy. I do a lot of meditation. And, uh, you know, just, just lay back and just go in there and get it done. Uh, uh, speaking of punchlines, explain to your audience what a punchline is and, in your opinion, what makes a good punchline. A punchline is when you is when you make a reference. It's when you say something referencing something else. So you say something, but you use something else to make your point. In other words, if I'm gonna say something, I'm gonna say something else in order to make that related, make them relate, to make it more sense, to make you be like, oh, that's what he's talking about, and make it like make it familiar to you. A good punchline is something original when you do something you ain't did or you ain't never heard nobody else do. It's not cool to bite other people's punchlines. So when you do something original, that's when it's, it's when it's good, fresh, ain't nobody heard it before. All right, Ace, tell me this, man. Um, where do you wish to be in five years from now as, as, as it pertains to the hip hop game? I just want to be better. I want to be, I just want to be, I just want to get better every day. All right, folks, well, you heard it live here from Black Hole Entertainment. Armani Ace Beasy, cop the album. Anything else you want to say to your fans in closing? Thank you. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all soon. This for my baby hip hop. I swear I love you to death. I really hope you write me back, girl. Sincerely, the best. Ace Beasy. She yeah. faced the hardest time you could imagine. Many times.